Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2, the adventurers of Emperor Flash, who can't get laid. Whoa, where does woman go? Oh, she maybe, did she, did she finally leave the, maybe she finally did leave the court, so maybe you can find a new woman. Well, let's get rid of that. Let's just find a decent woman. We keep trying to find attractive women, and they keep not working out. How about someone who's quick? Ooh, this lady is attractive and fast. Oh, that's Lydia. She was the one who was fucking everybody else but him. That doesn't help us. Ooh, what about Desilava? She is quick. She's a game master. She loves Pachisi. She's honest, she's cruel, and brave. And she's an um, amateurish plotter, not Amish. She's like, I'm plotting to raise a barn. <laughs> Why don't we take her as a concubine? Seems like a pretty good deal. We're trying to have some more kids. We only have two children that have survived. The eldest one unfortunately died of pneumonia. Uh, we're trying to put down this traitor's uh, rebellion. Unfortunately, this it's not this kid's fault. His dad was the traitor and his dad is dead. He's like, who's this guy? He's way out there. He's like, yes, you can have this girl as your concubine. Fuck her. Um, we're gonna give up trying to romance that fat lady that is the mom of this guy We were only trying to do it when his dad was in charge because we were trying to like screw it to his dad by doing his wife, but It worked out These here are the army of King Ivar of Norge if we look at the de jure kingdoms Norge is like up here the reason they're attacking us is because I'm sure if you've seen the last episode, you know the Pope declared a crusade against us to reclaim the parts of Germany we have for Catholic countries, blah, blah, blah. Long story short, nobody wants to fight for the Pope. And the Pope doesn't have any proper territory and he doesn't have any army, so he can't do squat himself. We're getting pretty close here on this area. And you can see there's not enough army of these guys. The Pope's all like, yes, I will absolve you from your sins. And these guys are like, nah. You know, I don't want to have to worry about sins and Jesus in the long term. But in the short term, I'm more scared of the Tangri. <laughs> Any moment now, and this will be done. And then hopefully, that probably won't be 100%. Oh, look! Our vassals are fighting them themselves. Victory! We're at 85%. Stupid fucking traitors. That'd be awesome if our vassals won the Holy War against the Crusade themselves. Ooh, look at these camel dudes. What the fuck? Uh, Khalif, uh, grab your balls, was fighting the French? Ooh! Our new concubine is pregnant! Wait, our old pre concubine is pregnant. It's about time, girl! She's only 21. I guess we had more time than I thought. Victory! Hopefully our guy knocked her up, though. 94%? We're about to get this. These damn dirty Catholics from the North countries are trying to siege our land. It's funny, long ago they were pagans who were raiding our land, and then now their Catholics are attacking. In fact, why don't we look at the religion? Get rid of that. You can see the Sunnis. Right here is one of these is right there is Santiago. That is a Christian holy site. Over here is Jerusalem, which is a holy site for the Christians. The Catholics, I should say. Catholics are Christians, blah blah blah. So two of their holy sites are held by Sunni Muslims. If you look at Rome right here, and you look at Köln, which we recently took, those are two more Catholic holy sites, and we, the Tangri, hold them. We have the Tangri religion in Carpathia. So there's only one Catholic holy site left that is not held by enemies, and that is Kent right here. You can see it kind of bright because I've clicked on the Catholic ones. Maybe later on we will try and take that. To give them the ultimate of, you don't even have any of your own holy sites. 
And then one of the interesting things here in the East is the Catholics have kind of made some land up. I mean, they don't have anyone to fight out here. We're not fighting them. The only ones they'd have to worry about are the Lords of the Sky. Uh-oh, let's see a new council position. We need a new marshal. We will put Ognan. Look, he likes us. He really likes us. And we will have you research military tech and Sophia. I don't want you leading troops. Sometimes when you give people council positions like that, usually they'll like you more. Feet smiles upon me. My concubine Shishana is pregnant. Finally, it took a bit for his seed to find purchase. Now he's really banging those chicks. I wanted like a ton of kids. I wanted to set a record. I think like 12 or 13 was the record before. Just make all them babies. I guess he was too busy trying to fuck other people's wives for a while. Technically, oh, I don't think he is anymore. Well, look at it. Victory! 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 And we have ended the rebellion. We're going to enforce their demands. The war against the tyranny of Emperor the Flash. Sword of Relic Khan has ended. Uh, I'm not going to punish this kid. I was going to punish his dad, but I have nothing against this kid. He didn't cause us no harm. I'm going to send any vassal troops that need to go home, home. And then let us have our retinue go attack these guys. And then this retinue will move over here. So, um, how's your uh, crusade going there, Pope? Pope Leo? He absolutely hates us. Why? Oh, because we're an infidel and because he's zealous. And probably because he doesn't get to hang out in Rome like he used to. Well, I don't know if he used to. It probably was a predecessor of his. What can I say? My family fucked y'all up. I feel bad for this guy, the King of the Norge. He is not very bright. A vassal of the, I think, Emperor of Sweden, whatever their title is. What is that title? The head of Sweden is... King. Sure, why not? Wait, did we win that battle? Did they leave and go in boats? I don't, I didn't even see what happened. I was busy looking at other stuff. Uh, why don't we move you down here? Uh, we'll merge these guys, move them right here. Oh, we must have won because we were at 31% war score. We won the battle! How many troops does the King of the Norse have? 200! Not too worried about the Crusade right now. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good. A daughter was born to Emperor Flash, Sword of Erlek Khan, and Savek... Which one? This one. Well, let's see. Your mom's name was Tadorka? Wait. Your mom wasn't the concubine of my dad, was it? Because that would be fucking creepy. Uh, we will name you. You don't need to be Tadorka. You can na be named... Uh, Suzuki. <laughs> We, we spelled it our own way. Let's see, what's going on in Scotland? Scotland is at peace. They continue to own part of Northern Ireland. Ireland owns part of Scotland. And as always, there are Irish rebels everywhere. This little ki kingdom managed to survive down here. France is at peace. They're pretty powerful, relatively 12,000 troops. We could take them. Italy, 12,000. Oh, and andalusia has got some rebellions going on. King Buttfuck the Cruel is about 7,000 troops. How is the Byzantine Empire doing? We gotta remember them. 20,000 troops. Ooh, fate smiles upon me. My wife Teresa is pregnant. He's getting all his women pregnant. That is awesome. Uh, how's the Caliph doing down here? How's your Caliphate? He's got about 18,000. We are definitely the big dog right now. Who are the Byzantine Empire fighting? 
defending against Urtunak of the Alanian Liberation Revolt. Okay. A message of offer to join war. Oh wait, this is so cool. This little kid, where's he from? This kid from here who owns this territory, how many troops do you have? He's got almost 2,000. He's like, Emperor, Great Emperor, Flash, your family, reform the Tangri religion. They are essential to it. We cannot let the Catholics destroy us. May we join you in fighting them? Sure. Why not, man? Uh, our Tangri, Tangri brethren, the sweetest of all the little kids like that. What the hell? The Teutonic Order is still around? Oh, shit. Let's get some guys over there. I thought we had gotten rid of that long ago. I don't want... Because they could have a giant army pop up there. I totally thought we had conquered that long ago. We conquered some of the other stuff that the Teutonic Order had control of. Oh, wait. What is this shit? Uh, did the Holy Roman Empire join the Crusade? Oh, man. Everybody joined the Crusade. All right. Is this how you want to do it? We can do it this way. Let us raise the vassals. Wow, there's some way, way out here. Holy shit. Look at... Oh my god. The giant army of Teutonic Knights. 10,000 strong. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> Alright, y'all go home. Oh, and there's another one there of 5,000. 15,000 Teutonic Knights somehow in the east. That have come to attack us. All right, you all go here. You know what, fuck it, let's just pick up everybody. How do I best grab them all? All right, that is the start. You guys here. Go up and assault them, they are our enemies apparently. Georgia. Yeah, we'll have you send your guys across too, I guess. Where are our retinues? Let's put one right here on the border. We're going to put the other one right next to it. Alright, you want to go, Catholics? Let's do it! It's on like Donkey Kong! Oh, Holy Roman Empire, you, don't you remember last time what happened? A daughter was born to Emperor Flash the Sword of Orlet Khan and Sneeze Hana, named Alexandra. Uh, yeah, that's one of our earlier concubines. That's cool. Let's see our new kids. Princess Suzuzu is slow. Ooh, she's stupid. Now, Princess Alexandra is just the child of a concubine. Nothing special. It's all good. You guys here, you better go home. Uh, why don't we get all these troops here, too, that we can? Oh, well, that's more than I wanted to select. Man, we're going to have a pretty damn big war here that I was not planning on. Well, that's, that's why we fucked with the Pope earlier. Because he was pissing me off with all those damn holy wars. Oh, shit! That's a fast army. Uh, you guys can go home. It's those damn Teutonic Knights in the east. We can see some of our vassals there fighting some Holy Roman Empire troops. Alright, how many guys do we have here? 
Probably got about 5,000 if we put everybody in here. This war isn't going quite as I thought. I lose more men per battle than I planned. And the sieges, the sieges is going on forever, man. More manpower, more siege webs is what I need. Perhaps a friend can assist me? No, we don't need any help. Um, we, we got this war. Uh, let's merge these guys. There's going to be a giant battle somewhere. Pain in the ass, Pope. Them losing a holy war will hopefully hurt them more too, though. You will be there on the 11th. We're not going to be able to outrun them. That army is just faster than ours. Go home, dudes. All right, they have an army 11,000 strong there. Sooner or later, they're going to move it down to attack one of our armies. We're going to attack right here while we can. Let's put some good leaders in this army. Brazlov, the man who wears bras into battle. Yeah, let's move the rest of these guys into here. You're going to be there on the 17th. That's our Chancellor saying he did some great diplomatic stuff. I'm like, get the fuck out of here, bro. We're fighting a crusade against most of Christendom. It started so good, nobody wanted to fight us at first, but now everybody is. I still think we can do it. Tangri will defend us. And where he can't defend us, ooh, we'll just stab people ourselves. Fate smiles upon me. My concubine, Desi Lava, is pregnant. Sweet. It's time to be making all the babies. All right, we're slightly outnumbered here. That's all right. We got reinforcements on the way. Hopefully they get there very soon. All right, we got them outnumbered. That's the important thing. We've also got 5,000 guys here. We will merge... The these guys, as soon as autosave is done. We might go spend some money. I want to spend some money upgrading some more buildings, but maybe we'll wait a little bit. Hopefully this will be good for our piety, too. I don't know how holy wars affect your piety, but I would definitely think it would help. How dare you try and overwhelmingly charge us. Holy shit, where did all those guys come from? Where did they get that 15,000? They just seem to appear. Maybe I missed reinforcements coming in there. That's all right. Let's pour more troops into it. We got more mar armies, marmies coming from the east. Look at that. They've lost almost 3,000 guys due to attrition coming through our territory. Speaking of which, the king of Kiev's his army is moving up there to siege them. We already have one army up there to siege. Excellent. I'm almost surprised, kind of surprised, they don't just properly assault us with all the troops. Oh, another 8,000 guys come in. Word has reached me that an ambitious adventurer, a teeny, is gathering men for some sort of attack. Uh, can we assassinate you? It's not worth it. 69%. We're not going to succeed. Where did he get all these damn troops? And we lost their fuck you. Fuck you game. Maybe I just missed all the guys come in. Oh, no, and now the reinforcements are going in piecemeal. And now they have 20,000 guys somehow. I miss those troops coming in. All right, fuck it. Everybody go in. Uh, we are the attackers up there. We are terribly outnumbered. We're still outnumbered. We're trying to get as many guys in there as we can, though. I didn't see them bringing all those reinforcements. I had no idea those guys just appeared. We're still outnumbered, but we're going to just keep pouring guys into that battle. 
Come on, get in there, reinforcements. Get in there. We're winning victory somewhere. We've got like 10,000 guys going in there right here. When these reinforcements get in there, we might actually break them. Our center's pretty weak. How long till... Oh, shit. Where did those guys come from? I'm going to send a retinue to defend them. In fact, this retinue is never going to make it in time. So we're going to send them there. We've still got 10,000 guys going there. The center just needs to hold long enough to get those reinforcements in there in a day. There's some. We need more. We did break their center. Hell yes. I can't believe we held long enough. When the rest of them get in there. A couple more days. We broke their center. Get those troops up in there. Get those troops up in there. We're breaking the right flank. We crushed that army. Man, I thought we were going to lose that. Victory! And we've got a big old battle going on right here with our retinue and the other guys. But you know what? I hate to do it. We're going to end this on a cliffhanger right here. Next time we'll be back to see if our retinue and the other units win there. We won a really big battle right here. We lost a lot of troops, but that's all right. 43% war score fighting, I think, all the Christian countries right now. If not all of them, just about all of them. I think a lot of it, what we're doing is we're fighting like dukes and counts in these areas. Scotland proper. I'll see you all next time when we hopefully can finally win this war against the stupid Catholics. Take it easy, everybody.